So yesterday I took the day off of everything. I disconnected from most of social media and then I just drove into the mountains with my puppy and I didn't really expect to be able to do something for a while that I was able to do and it was really amazing and I wanted to share that with you guys. I've been feeling a lot of uh, super high functioning depression lately, like I can get stuff done but I feel like I'm dying inside. I want to take some time to just like recenter, refocus and maybe figure out what's going on and it was really healing to get away, to disconnect from social media, to disconnect from like everyone and everything for just a few hours and just drive into the mountains. And then something really cool happened and I wanted to share that with you guys. So here was my day yesterday. So for a couple days, I have been planning a drive just like into the mountains, just disconnect, don't look at my phone or text messages or the internet or anything like that. And I got up this morning and little Sadie, Miss Sadie back here, was looking real sad and um, when I went to pack all my things into the car she jumped up I stopped at Starbucks and I just couldn't not get her a treat too so she's coming with me we're gonna head up into the mountains and I figured we would start by giving her a puppuccino good girl <laughs> are you spilling it everywhere can I take the cup okay <laughs> are you gonna take it <laughs> All right, we're ready. Heading off into the mountains. I fall down when you're mine. I get up and you're a stranger. Out of sight, out of mind. No wanting to surrender. Ooh. She's on guard. She sees the guy over in the corner and she's not a fan. She's actually come a long way. When I had her as a puppy, I got her when she was seven months old. She'd had three owners before me. And I had to take her to a year and a half of dog training because she tried to eat people. Uh, not actually, but pretty close. She would growl at anyone who came close. And now I can have the window open when I'm ordering puppuccino, which is what whipped cream for dogs is called at Starbucks. And she doesn't even growl or bark because she's so good. So far we are halfway to our destination. I just got her some water and we are about to take off yet again. So considering the fact that I drink water constantly, I think we knew this was going to happen, but I started a gas station and I have to get into said gas station in semi-icy conditions. Sadie, you'll hold down the fort for me. Uh, but I definitely feel, I still can't totally get over feeling weird walking around in public on crutches with no hint of a leg. But I think this is one of those situations where um, you just kind of bite your teeth grit your teeth, don't bite your teeth, uh, grit your teeth and do it, and it will be okay. Like nothing but a stranger now. Oh my God, you guys. Uh, I am so very sold on the iWalk. This just allowed me to walk my puppy dog. to talk because it's real cold my lips are kind of frozen but I haven't been able to walk my dogs in like like months and months it feels so freaking normal and like human to be able to do this sorry it's so windy but Sadie we just went for a little walk in the mountains I cannot thank I walk enough for creating this and letting me use it I still can't feel my ears but oh my god guys I walked Sadie and she's super happy about it. No, she's kind of tired right now. Uh, I just took her out for like a second, but that was so awesome. Uh, my leg doesn't feel too terrible, but it was so nice. Like so nice to walk. Ugh, the little things we take for granted. Um, it was amazing. So I'm gonna drive around in the mountains a little bit more and probably keep my camera turned off and just like take time to think, listen to a good book, um, and just kind of be. 
but I did want to share that with you guys because I'm so freaking excited that I was able to walk my puppy dog. If you hear that noise, that is the sound of my lovely eye walk, which is empowering my life in such awesome ways like vacuuming if you can see the vacuum cleaner up there however it's squeaking loudly that noise gets super annoying but is totally worth it i have to figure out what i did wrong i did something wrong i gotta fix it oh you don't want to be in the video okay well, since this video is chock full of puppies anyways, I figured I would uh, show you guys Sophie's little birthday party. She turned two today. She is uh, still at my parents' house. For those of you guys who don't know, we have I, three dogs, actually. It's not just Sadie. We had to drop off Sadie because we're going to Ireland. And so my parents are watching her and other two dogs until I am recovered from surgery. So we had to say bye to them. But we got some pretty cute footage that I'm going to share with you guys right now. It's your birthday party, Sophie. A two-year-old birthday party. Monkey's not very participatory. <laughs> Fry their brains. <laughs> oh, monkey's interested now. <laughs> Oh, you want it? <laughs> no. <Ooh>. Slow. <laughs> oh. Monkeys are a good little sleepy puppy. She'll just wait until they're all done. And then she'll go find a toy and then she'll play with it. She'd rather have a belly rub any day. Good cat. Good cat. You've got all the tennis balls. You see the deer, Sadie? Almost hit these guys, but we break just in time. Be safe, little deer. Have her from the sky. The high tide flows around